Hello, this is Grant Thrall. Welcome to my educational series on business geography. In this demonstration one, we will learn how to create a geospatial database. Uh, this is uh, using the uh, GIS software program Maptitude, which is available from Caliper Corporation, C-A-L-I-P-E-R.com. I'm also using Microsoft Excel in this example. First, we open up a spreadsheet. Data is available. 80% of all data is considered to be geospatial. We are beginning with an Excel spreadsheet from HUD, uh, housing and U.S. Housing and Urban Development, and we will be address geocoding this in, this data. So first of all, what we have done is we've gone in, we've cleaned up our database, and we're going to uh, uh, save it. We've deleted the first row, which was a header row. Now go into part two of four parts, uh, where after having deleted the header row so that we don't confuse uh, the uh, software that's going to read the uh, uh, database, uh, we're going to rename the fields uh, to be uh, a standardized with the address being street uh, and then city. We'll fill in a state and then zip. Also, what we will do is uh, make the columns of the correct width. After here, we're adding in the uh, we're going to add in the uh, state field since that was not present in the original HUD database. So we're just using Excel, and uh, this uh, database is for all the uh, subsidized housing developments in Florida. And so we're going to add the state. Uh, name FL, state abbreviation. And save the result. Now we go into part three. And we bring our Excel database into Maptitude. Maptitude has a variety of databases that it can add from Esri shape files to uh, map info tab files and here we're just adding up adding the Excel database and we scroll through it and see verify yes indeed that is the database that uh, I want to uh, address match geocode I have an address data field uh, a zip code data field a state uh, data field we really need that zip data field uh, most of the uh, uh, address uh, matching geocoders uh, don't work well uh, without a five-digit zip code. So now we go into uh, part four. Uh, we've saved our Excel database as a DBF. I prefer to bring in the DBF file to geocode. And We're going to uh, go uh, tools, uh, uh, search by location. Uh, we're going to add in our identify uh, address, zip, state. Select OK. And then we could uh, overwrite an old database or uh, which saves space or uh, add in a new name and this is going to be our geospatial database layer and there it is and we have had a pretty good success rate but we'll need to go through our data and see which ones did not geocode we're all going to be looking at Alachua County in this example 